Where'd it go? It's right in front of us. There it is. The emergency call went out early in the morning to animal wrangler Steve Polera. We had a kangaroo on the loose. A kangaroo that suddenly startled Summer's fire chief Carson Wilkinson. It comes out of the ditch line and I'm looking at it going, it's a kangaroo. I'm going, I'm losing my mind. After a quick double take, he called for backup from others responding to a nearby accident scene. Me and some of the firefighters kind of looked at each other like, did he just say kangaroo? Did you think that they believed you when you radioed that call in? I was sure they did not. I was positive they didn't believe me. They quickly learned the animal named Joey had escaped from nearby Jerry Smith's pumpkin farm. He's there for a fall festival starting this weekend, and Polera was called in to help retrieve him. They had it basically surrounded for me, and all I had to do was go up for the snatch. It didn't take long. The kangaroo only made it a few blocks down the road and was quickly corralled and brought back to its petting zoo here. But not before it had a few interesting encounters along the way. I got pretty close to him, and he just kind of sat there looking at me like, hey, what's up? I'm embarrassed to see it, but I think I might have waved at it when it was looking at me. The animal wasn't hurt, and neither was anyone else. I hope it never happens again, but it, yes, it was an interesting morning. In the town of Summers, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. I probably would have waved at it too. <laughs> Joey was raised in a zoo setting and bottle fed. Sheriff's officials say the kangaroo was checked out to make sure that he wasn't hurt. A